See? So I do the show, and then we sort of like, uh, uh, there'd always be a few people wanting to talk to us, and we'd always make them wait outside the dressing room for sort of like 15, 20 minutes before we came out. And then as we came out, the first one would go, um, the Alamo wasn't the American Civil War. And they'd go, yeah, we know! <laughs> <laughs> and they played it 20 minutes to do <laughs> 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 Challenged by Trevor's to die. By a line that he drew with his sword, because the battle drew back. And he that crossed over that line was for glory, and he that was left to apply. He rolled up the line, crossed 179. Remember the Alamo. Jim Boy lay dying, his blood and his powder were dry. But his knife at the ready to take him a few in reply. Now young baby Crockett lay laughing and dying, the blood and the sweat in his eyes. But for Texas and freedom, a man was more willing to die. The Alamo. Now a courier came to a battle once bloody in our hell. But she found only skin and bones where she once left a crowd. So fair not that her darlings are dying if your world is sovereign free. As long as I live at the least. Hey, hey, up, come down, they're killing you, the soldiers below. So the rest of Texas will know. And remember the Alamo.